Hello guys and welcome to EMG Source. So today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Kodi into your Fire TV or Fire Stick uh, using nothing but your device. You're not going to use any computer or any other uh, uh, silos or anything like that. And we're going to fully set it up with third party add-ons and everything, uh, all ready to go. Right. So the first thing you want to do is go down to settings. And from settings you want to move over to system. And in the system, you want to go to developer options and make sure you turn on the uh, this one right here, uh, apps from unknown sources. You, you want to be able to download them and, and install them, all right? So once you turn that on, you're going to go back to the top and you're going to search for ES File Explorer, right? ES File Explorer, all right? So I already downloaded it, so all you gotta do is install it, launch it, and the first line you get right here, it says favorites, and you're gonna click on that. All right, and you're gonna then click on the add button. All right, so you wanna add two links, okay? The first thing you wanna add is uh, the one to download Kodi, so that's uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot TV forward slash download. All right, so that's the first one, and you could give it any name you want. So uh, let's name it Cody and done. Okay, add that, and you're set. Uh, the second link you want to add, you're going to press on that add button again. And you're going to press uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash EMG source dot com LU dot com. All right. So you're done with that. Give it a name anything you want so I'm gonna name mine ENG okay nice and simple and we're gonna add it all right so now you have these two sources right so you're gonna go all the way down to to your final so here's Cody let's click on Cody here it's gonna bring you right to the website to the right to the download page and you have to you know it's really hard to maneuver this but uh, once you get it you know you just have to follow the little box there and then head over to the, the Google Play one and you want to download the arm all right so that Android Google arm all right so you click on that Takes a couple of tries, guys. All right, so there you go. All right. All right. That's it. It's gonna download. You're gonna you can open a file if you want and install it. Okay, go down to installs and it's gonna download Kodi there for you. All right. The hardest part about that is the you know because there's a ES File Explorer. Uh, I don't know. It, it's not fully supported by Amazon, I guess. Um, and it takes a while for it to you know to be able to maneuver see because you don't really see where the cursor is sometimes uh so you can move around here and then find yourself to that emg one and then you're going to click on apk and you want to find the one that says file starter okay download that open file maneuver yourself over to that 
and actually go down to the bottom and click extract try to get to the extract there all right it's going to ask you to extract it click ok all right now that should be on your downloads here go over to the top to downloads and there it is fire starter to strike one more time I'm sorry actually you know what we did this already click it down go to downloads look for the for the folder I'm sorry the folder and there it is all right This one we want to open okay because we want to set this up so we, we want to go to system uh, sorry no, this is the updates I don't think there's any updates you don't have to do them but you know check from there you can, you can see that you have the latest version of Kodi there installed right you want to go to settings so the first thing you want to do in settings you want to go to startup application and you want you know how do you want it whenever you turn on your Amazon box where do you want it to go so in my case I want it to go straight to Kodi as soon as I turn it on uh, if you click the home button right what do you want it to do one time I want it to go straight to Kodi right single click right if you do a double click you know do you want it to go back to your uh, fire TV or I like to go to fire starter all right and that's it all right so now once you have that done see this is your fire starter you have your es file explorer here you have your Kodi, fire tv your fire tv settings right but the nice thing about it is that if you have the remote right all you do is press the i don't know if you can see there but uh, let's see if you press the home button right it'll launch Kodi right away let's see Right, one time. Right, and there's Cody there for the first time. Right, and as you can see, if I press the home button two times, it brings me back out. One time, right back to Cody. Right. There you go. All right, so that's that. Uh, now once you're here now, you know now we're, we're here now we have nothing we have vanilla right you want to do the same thing we did before go to system go to file manager add source and you can add any source you want this is my source uh, you know uh, there's a lot of them out there that you can choose from target has a really good one uh, http colon forward slash forward slash uh, ENG source ENG. dot com LU. Uh, com. All right, click on done. Give it a name. Anything you want, guys. By the way, I add the dot or star or whatever just so that it goes on top of the list once you need to find it. Uh, Go back, go into system, 
add-ons, install from zip file, eng, the first one there, and eng source wizard. Now you could, again, this is my wizard, you could add anybody else's, um, you know, um, this is mine, I created it, so I like it. Uh, that's it, you just give it a second, wait for the little message to tell you that, you know, it's been installed. And it does take a couple of seconds, and then once it's done, you basically go back all the way back to programs. You click on program add-ons, and there it is, EMG source wizard. All right, and let's install it. Let's see what that, uh, how long it takes. Shouldn't take too long. It's not a really big uh, build, but it is uh, loaded with uh, a lot of things. It's pretty quick, all in real time, you know, not fast forwarding anything. Um, all right, so that's it. it. Says okay, yay, you know, you can click on done. Now, for some units, you could just press yes, close, and it'll work. Uh, on the old Amazon TV, it, it worked no problem. This one doesn't work. In order for it to stick. You do have to uh, go to uh, basically the, the best thing to do is to uh, you know set up the box you know uh, disconnect it and plug it back in and that should work uh, you know get everything going right uh, here just for the purpose I just want to try to see if this works go into Cody. Or stop and then relaunch it see if that works Here you have a couple of add-ons here. You have uh, Exodus, Souls, Phoenix, Watch TV, Pandora, Live TV, Cartoons 8, Pro Sports, uh, Settings, Power. You know, uh, if you click on the bottom, you click down, you get more things here. Uh, you know, little shortcuts for Exodus, uh, Salts, shortcuts for Salts, plus Navi X. Phoenix, you get Phoenix plus uh, other movie add-ons, 1 to 3, 9 movies, HD movies 14, X movies 8. And UK Turks watch TV, you got uh, Dizzy Box, uh, HD TV 14, TV for me, TV online, UK Turks TV, and of course, watch TV, uh, Pandora, you get music add ons, you got SoundCloud, YouTube Music, Live Music, Vivo, Radio Crazy, you got uh, Live TV, uh, you get you know, Adrian's list for uh, people that like Spanish uh, sources. Uh, World TV for all international channels, North American channels, and UK Turks uh, TV uh, line. Cartoons, you get uh, Kids TV, Cartoon Land, Mors View, Cartoon Crazy, and UK uh, Turks uh, Tunes, as well as uh, Cartoons 8, of course. Uh, then you get Pro Sports. You have Castaway Sports, that was, uh, uh, this is UK Sports uh, MMA. And events, live events from Phoenix. Uh, then favorites, you get uh, video add-ons, programs, and YouTube. And of course, you know you have your settings, which you have your file manager, system information, and so on. 
and the last one is power now if you click on power you're going to see you have uh, uh you can clear the cache from exodus because it's probably the most one, uh add-on that's used in here as well as phoenix and if you click on maintenance you have uh, you know, uh right here from role maintenance you can clear your cache uh packages thumbnails right i click on power again if i ever do an update you just click on here update and uh, update the build uh, and that's pretty much it. And each one's are loaded with widgets. I mean, uh, if you go to Exodus, you get, you know, content there loading. You press up. Now you get the little poster widgets. You can switch around. Right? Same thing with salts. Right? Press up. Give a second for it to load. You got the <coughs> trending movies there. Phoenix. Press up. You get from 124 All the latest movies. Uh, watch TV. Click up. Uh, this is from Dizzy Box. You get the latest episodes. So any new episode there. Pandora. Click up. You get from. Uh, I believe this is from Devo or music videos. Uh, Live TV. Press up. And Exodus. This is what's airing today, so you know what's uh, airing today, so you know, you know you don't miss anything. Cartoons. This is from Exodus as well. Uh, you know all the movies uh, let's see pro sports press up and this is from exodus uh, movies based on sports and on favorites I have my childhood here and this is like you know cartoons from back when I was little <clears throat> I just put that there you know for all the, the old folks and that's pretty much it all right so settings of course settings if you want to change anything and then power you know if you want to, uh, you know, update your build, there it is. All right, guys, enjoy it. I hope you like it. Work hard on it. Thank you.